Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So we got this 64 Impala here in the shop and it's got an oil leak. So let me crawl under here. And if we get up close, you can see that it's leaking from the area where the, where the Speedo cable would go. Now, if I get closer, you can see that there's a piece missing if you're familiar with these uh, speedometer housing or speedometer gear housings, you can tell that there's a piece missing. So now let me show you on a piece that's good on as to what's happening. This is the new part that I got and the part that's missing is from here on up. So we don't have the threads in, in the on the transmission that's on the car right now. So the yellow piece, this one, is your your speedometer gear and the way this seals because obviously you know there's there's some wobble right so this would allow oil to travel up through this hole okay now you see the you see the lines that are on the the speedometer gear shaft well these lines are tapered and they kind of go down like in a screw manner so what this does or what this is meant to do is it's meant to drive the oil that goes into here that is designed to drive the oil back down into the transmission to prevent leakage now you see how it gets to uh to this spot right here and it stops right well what's stopping it right now is this seal so i'm gonna push through the seal now okay and now it doesn't come out so that, that seal creates a snug fit right in there, and this is what prevents your leakage. Now to know if you're, if you're leaking from either here or the outermost uh, O-ring that's on the outside, you'll know because, well, I don't know if you saw in the very beginning of the video, there's a drop underneath on, on, the, on the housing. There's like a little droplet of transmission fluid on the bottom. That can either be coming out through through this O-ring down here, or it could be coming from the top. So the only way to know is you unscrew your speedometer cable, which attaches right here. This is this is your threads to, to for the speedometer cable. If when you take that loose, it is all full of transmission fluid all up in there, that means that your source of the leak is coming from in here. This should be relatively dry. If it's not, there's your there's your leak. If it's dry, then you know that it's coming from here. Also be mindful to look for any cracks on this piece. It could also get cracked. Okay. To remove this piece, uh, if you do need to, to service this, because they sell the they sell the whole housing like this. This is all bought new. Uh, I'll look I'll look for a Amazon link and I'll post it down in the description. Uh, where as to where you can uh, get this piece now again going back how to remove this you're going to get a pair of pliers and you're basically going to grab onto these ears and you're going to rotate side to side okay and then there's also a fork that kind of holds it the way i'm holding it right now with my fingers that fork is going to have a screw on this side and that screw is uh i believe a uh, 3 8 or a 7 16 screw I can't remember off the top of my head right now but it's one of those sizes you're gonna take that fork off and now this is ready to come off but it's gonna be on there pretty good so you gotta rotate it back and forth uh, with a pair of, of pliers or something you can grab onto these ears try to grab onto both of them somehow and just wiggle back and forth as you're pulling at the same time well try not to grab on to this shaft that's the reason why the person must have broken this to begin with so anyway that is uh the two reasons why you would have a leak coming from the tail end of your transmission on a turbo 350 gm transmission well i hope this information was useful if it was please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it gives youtube feedback and lets them know that this is good content thank you all for watching until next time